Hello everyone. Today we have for sale this beautiful bow right here. I've showed pictures to many experts and they believe it to be by E.M. Penzel, which worked for H.R. Fretchner for 10 years. And he opened his own shop in 1903. It's beautiful sterling silver mounted. It's got that beautiful, beautiful patina to it. Nearly a swan tip in between. I really love it. And I'm going to play for you a little bit on it. Now this violin is sold separately. It's also for sale. It's a approximately a 1780 uh, Chapuis French. Um, and I have showed photos to a lot of different experts on it. And I've had thousands of violins and I can pretty well tell. Uh, throughout the years by looking at it, it's French violin, and um, from around 1780 up to 1800, Chapuis, and this is sold separate, the bow is sold separate, but you got to have two instruments to play, so here we go. So I'm going to play a little bit with this bow. Now this bow is very balanced, very light, smooth, it's just uh, pretty amazing, it's definitely a master when you hold it, it's like artist paintbrush. <laughs> the violin as well in case I use this video for two different listings uh, very powerful smooth wow it's just amazing it's definitely a soloist uh, something to play in a professional orchestra um, now shop we uh, in great 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 condition I've seen their violins personally 24,000 and I've seen them listed up to 45,000 I have a friend that sold one here a while back for 24,000 or that's what he had it listed at and, uh, and I've seen them as high as I think 45,000. Now, this one has had some repairs. Um, it's had some cracks, different things about it. Now, also, this violin has a pin on the, uh, let's see, what side is it? The left side, and it's pinned on the right side. Two piece maple back. I'll tell you a little bit about the instrument, real quick. Um, beautiful uh, figure uh, to the back. Can see beautiful uh, grain. I meant to say grain. Beautiful grain to the top, as we can see, and beautiful aged patina, uh, natural, real patina. And um, I set the violin up. I put strings on. It. I put Zyx strings on it, brand new Zyx strings, and I put boxwood fittings on it. And because of the real, authentic, natural wear to the violin um, of the aged spotting, uh, I uh, put my own patina to the fittings so the boxwood fittings uh, match the violin very well they don't look so new like put a new set on it just, just doesn't look great but uh, they look awesome on this violin and um, so there it is beautiful violin uh, approximately 1780 and I'm selling a lot of different stuff if you look at my other auctions or other listings you'll see uh, like a Francois Nicholas Vorian uh, with paperwork I've got it listed, um, and of course there's pencil bow, there's a lot of different things. Uh, uh, a real Francois Breton Brevet, a lot of those you see are, are fake copy JTO, but this is real deal. He died in like 1830. i got a Johann Christian Ficker for sale, you'll see in my other auctions. It's in awesome condition, and that's somewhere middle 1700s, a little older than this thing. Uh, and um, just look in my other auctions, I've got some great, great stuff. Um, even a Gum, August Gumunder violin, one of those uh, tonal violins that he did, the concert series, if you're familiar with that. But anyway, this is this violin, powerful, needs to go to a professional orchestra, professional player, this is the kind of thing 
to be in the Philharmonic or professional orchestra for sure. Um, and then this pencil bow is amazing. Uh, it's in very good condition. I don't see any breaks to the tip. I do see a little bit of wear around the slide. Very common. Um, and I just love that natural patina to the silver as it starts to turn, you know. And it's just a balanced bow. It plays awesome. And the weight and dimensions are there inside of the listing. So God bless everybody. Thank you.